First and foremost, wacha niseme kwa familia ya mweshinua maangi na ndugu zako na wajuku na kila mtu poleni sana kwa kumpoteza mzee baba enu kwa miaka miyamoja. Like I told you last time, your Excellency Deputy Governor, you need to thank God that you've been able to live with your father to see your father clock a century. A hundred years is not a joke. I keep saying this in every funeral. I was not lucky to see my father before I even clocked the age of 10. So this is a miracle. I join you in celebration of the life of your father for this great milestone. I have also gone through the history of your father. Babayako alikuwa nauza umbua. He was a dog seller. Na akahaso namna iyo, akahaso namna iyo, akahaso namna iyo. Akahaso, baadaya akakusomesha, ukatoka na wenzako wote. Sasa hivi, wewe ni deputy governor of Kisi County. Now, Sasa kwa sababu tumepewa dakika tu mmoja tuzungumze ni vizuri hata mimi nipe, nipeane neno moja hapa kwa sababu leo I am lucky to stand before His Excellency the Deputy President and the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Dina. Now that nimekuwa lucky kusimama katika mbele yenu mimi muniruhusu niseme hii na mimi nitazungumza tu namna hiyo. Niseme Mimi ninasema na hii namna hii na nitaanzia right honorable it is actually not in my place to advise the right honorable prime minister it is not in my place but as a politician hata mimi ninaangalia your excellency deputy president nimekuangalia safari yako umesimama na mheshimiwa uhuru kenyatta kutoka 2002 mpaka wakati huu umesimama na yeye 2013 na umesimama na yeye 2017 leo ni vizuri nizungumze hii niseme namna hii Wakati huu umerukwa sasa baba ndiye anatembea kule. Na mimi ninasema namna hii. Naambia His Excellency Right Honorable Prime Minister. Ile mchezo imechezwa na Deputy President itachezwa na wewe baada ya hii bibi yao. Usikuchile vizuri. Ile mchezo imechezwa kule. Wewe tutatumika tupitishe bibi yao saidi hapa nyanza we will be used to petition bbi ugambiwe ni vizuri uamue saa hii ushikane na wewe ambao utafanya kazi kidogo ya tatu ya tatu sisi kama jamii ya mkisi juzi muliona juzi muliona president uhuru kenyata akikutana na wakikuyu kule central akaketi na wao akawaambia wapitishe bbi kwa sababu wamepata 40 constituencies. What are you going to tell us to pass BBI for hapa Kisi County? What are you going to tell us? Constituency ya Bobasi ni kubwa sana. It needs to be divided. Na mimi naambia viongozi wenzangu wakiongozi wa namweshimu wa jane tongera. Wakati muna tafta vijana wakuje matanga, ambia pia right umana bomba umeketi na ee, constituency yako ni kubwa sana inaitaji kuga unyegua marabe. Sio kutuambia tu pibi muna tiyala, tuambia ile kitu itasaidia watu wakisi hapa. Ya pili, constituency ya South Mokirago ni kubwa sana. It needs to be divided. It is actually shocking ya kwamba tunaambiwa, ya kwamba pesa itakuja 35% kwa counties. Lakini hatujaona hata matuna ya 15% hata hapa mwa wakondiri. Hatujaona hata yu matuna. So we cannot just use that one line. We want a share of our bargain. Hapa Gucha pia, Gucha is very big. It is not practical that Tarakanithi County has got three constituencies and Kisi County has got nine constituencies. It is not practical. It is not. Na andio maana sisi kama jami ya wakisi we demand more constituencies and we demand a sub-county. Alafu tunasema William Samoy Ruto for 2022 president. Hapa go. Kisa kupona. Kisa kupona. You cannot tell us. You cannot tell us William Ruto is a thief when you used William Ruto in 207. You cannot tell us William Ruto is bad when you used him for Pentagon. Ali and Ali Kwa Mwizi Skugani. Atuazi Kugani. Atuazi. Thank you very much. 
Mimi pia binafsi familia yangu mheshimiwa deputy governor nimeleta na mimi kwa familia yangu ambaye mama Beatrice na mama ya Kiza waliniambia nikupe pole wamezeeka hawaongei sana Nina shukrani sana kwa sababu leo nimekuwa na nafasi kusimama hapa kuzungumza mbele ya viongozi Mheshimiwa Dr. William Ruto Deputy President Mheshimiwa Raila Molo Dinga Prime Minister Governor wetu James Ngwae na viongozi wote ambao wamekuja hapa Mimi Nina bahati kwa sababu hawa viongozi wote nimefanya kazi na wao. Na ningependa kurudi mahali tulikuwa na Mheshimiwa Mangi. Mheshimiwa Mangi alisema hivi. Baba yake ni mtu alikuwa anapenda amani. Baba yake ni mtu ambaye alikuwa hata kanisa habagui. Na ingekuwa vizuri kama siku ya leo ingekuwa siku ambaye kiongozi mheshimiwa William Ruto na mzee Raila wangekumbatana wasalimiane ili tupunguze lile joto liko hapa nchi yetu Our country is not well Our country is driving at a speed of 160 kilometers per hour Our country has outstanding issues which must be corrected for us to move forward Our community as my brother Osoro has said has certain outstanding issues which must be corrected. Yes. Yes. We have no objection with that. But what I want to raise here is very simple. How did we get to where we are? We got to where we are from 1963. President Kenyatta finished what he was doing. He handed over to Mzee Moi Mzee Moi handed over to Kibaki, Kibaki handed over to Uhuru. Now, of course, my friend and my leader William Ruto wants to be president. And by the way, I have every respect for his decision. The gentleman is smart, he's intelligent, he speaks well. He speaks well. He articulates his position very clearly and he is in fact as we speak somebody who would run for the presidency of this country. Then I find myself having a man called Raila Amolo Odinga. A man who I worked with in 2008. I was at Pentagon House when there were people in the room who were telling Raila let us make sure we pick guns and go and kill the people who stole our votes Raila said it is not my responsibility because i don't have the instruments of power i will leave it to be another day dp you are there you say Raila was there charity was there my chief brother was there After that it is true the DP you supported Raila twice and you supported Uhuru but the truth is Raila's elections were not free and fair So when Raila may be a devil when Raila is actually somebody who many people may not like what we are saying is this surely there has to be fairness there has to be justice and there has to be equity DP you get where I'm coming from I would really love you two to work together but you're making it impossible for me I like you I like that guy I want to come to Eldoret and walk inside that town and people like me they shake me now they think I hate you so when I walk in Eldoret they 
look at me funny. I don't want to say how Raila is a terrible politician. I love going to Kisumu. I don't want to go to Kisumu and people look at me as if I'm the one who hates Raila. The Kisi community is neighbors to your people and the Kisi community is neighbors to the local community. What we would like to ask you as leaders, the noise that we've been making, our supporters are okay. They should criticize, but the way somebody said here, let us not insult each other in public. Your Excellency, that is my request to you, and I will ask you finally, the work that you're doing in Kisi, when you are organizing, I know uh, Osoro is here, I know Magara is there. Call us, we will come. Amen. We have no issue with you. Mzee Raila, we respect him, we have worked with him. Whatever the eventuality, we hope that at the end of this exercise, we would have achieved the best, and at the end of it, the Kenyans will decide. Thank you. Thank you very much, Richard. Regarding